Today, we're off to a very unique place. Heading north, we make the long drive from Darwin through Dumaguete to the Cannibal Wharf in Bayez City. Compared to the more popular tourist places like Boracay and Palawan, this area of Negros Oriental in the Visayas region of the Philippines doesn't get a lot of attention. But this place that I had to come see for myself is definitely putting it on the map. Good morning. Good morning. It is bright and early here in Negros Island. We just took a two hour trip from our hotel, from Atmosphere. I'm with Richard again today. In today's adventure, we're heading out to the sandbar. The, what's the name of it again? Manhuyat Sandbar. Manhuyat Sandbar. The boat is gearing up. We're heading out, leaving these guys behind. Heading out to the sandbar. This place, I've seen it only in photos. The engine's running. I've only seen it in photos. It looks incredible. Let's go check it out. Awesome. <laughs> From the wharf, we hire a boat and crew for the day, and after packing a lunch and confirming the tide schedule, we make our way to one of the most beautiful stretches of sand I've ever seen. Absolutely unbelievable. Low tide, just a giant sandbar out in the middle of the ocean. About a 15 minute boat ride from mainland. You got the coconut guys set up here. You have these big houses or, or little resorts on pillars that you can rent out for the day. It's windy. Man, there's all these incredible little white boats here. Beautiful sand. This is insane. This is insane. As you can start to see, the tide is coming in already. This is low tide right now, so we can see the beach. But by high tide, I'm told that the water can get up to your chest level. So we only have about, I mean, really two hours. This can all change and all be covered over. So only low tide, you can actually see the beach. It is just incredible. Seven kilometers of white sand and teal water that's said to be the largest sandbar in the Philippines. Tour boats dock in the shallows, rental cottages line one edge, and the entire place is paradise. Tide's moving quickly and the entire landscape turns from an endless beach into a tropical kiddie pool. <laughs> oh. Fresh shrimp off the barbecue right off the back of the boat. It's a beautiful day here on Negros Island. Thank you, Clay. And a great playlist. Great job, guys. Great work. All right, we are back on mainland. Just as the storm starts rolling in, that was an incredible day out on the water, out on the sandbar. The water is absolutely pristine. The sand moved in quickly from low tide to high tide. So within the first half hour we were there, we were already underwater. It was absolutely beautiful. The timing was perfect. Get out there early, make sure you check the schedule. Some people just came out right now and are trying to go out. And obviously the, the table has turned. The weather isn't as good, but man, that was a perfect day, a great lunch. This is a great way to spend a day 
here on Negros Island. If you ever had the chance, I highly recommend it. That's it. Back in Dumaguete after a great morning, we cruise around downtown to experience a little more of the city. We pass by the architecture and old churches as Richard explains how Dumaguete is home to the well-respected Seliman University and how it was voted by the tourism board as the best place to retire in the Philippines in 2018. I'm impressed, but as always, I have to check out the Central Market. Lunch spa. That's the name of the restaurant. Tantao. That's our local dialect. It means look or have a look. Have a look? <laughs> this place. Oh, this today was it's been amazing. Oh and they got the seafood right here. Look at this. Seafood's ready to go. Let's go eat. Look at those. Those are all baskets. Alright, after we order. We gotta go pick out the crab that we want. Oh yes. Where is the crab? Are these guys? These guys. This one, big one. Big that guy. Okay. This one. Yeah, he's moving. He's healthy. Yeah. This one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Alright, we got quite the spread here. We have take me through this. What do we got here, Richie? Kinilao, fish kinilao. Fish kinilao. We got crab, garlic butter crab. We got grilled squid. What's the greens? Adobo. Adobo cancon. Garlic and butter shrimp. We just got some. The rice is called. Lava rice. Java. Java. Java rice. <laughs> but the best of all, butter crab. That's so good. I'm caught from these waters, yeah? This is the best lunch I've ever had in my life. Fresh seafood. Greens, rice, good company. Cheers. Watermelon juice. A little dip in. Oh, oh, wow. We're gonna enjoy this now. See you in a little bit. Unfortunately, it's time to say goodbye to Atmosphere. I'm heading out to get on a ferry to go to Sikihor Island right now. So. Goodbye, beautiful landscape. Goodbye, perfect shower. Goodbye, kick-ass cabana. That one's mine. Goodbye, bar. Goodbye, Goodbye amazing pool number one. Leaving. Really? Yeah. Goodbye, bakery. Goodbye, beautiful pool number two. Goodbye, beach. Goodbye, Apo Island. Goodbye, delicious restaurant. Goodbye, yoga studio. Ready? Less thinking.